Hi, I'm joined today by Kyle Hebert from Missouri State. Congratulations, Kyle, on winning uh, Academic All-America of the Year for the second straight season. Um, tell me a little bit about what this award means to you. Oh, well, it's a tremendous honor to have been recognized, um, you know, not even just from our team or our conference or region, but from across America um, as a guy who is trying to do the right things academically and athletically. And we, we talk about it a, a lot as a team that um, when certain guys in our team win, you know, individual awards in a team sport, that, that is indicative of team success. And uh, I'm, I'm so proud of, of our team and all the work the guys have done. And I'm the one who ends up getting the recognition. So I want to make sure I pass that on to the other guys who have helped me get to this spot. Well, that is very humble, but you talked a little bit about academic um, success. Tell me why you think you're so successful in the classroom. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been fortunate to have, you know, many great professors who have, you know, with soccer, you're missing classes and you're, you're making stuff up. And, you know, I've, I've, become close friends with with numerous people in my classes who have helped me uh, with with miss notes and, and whatnot and um, and then it I think it just comes down to the work ethic like how much work are you going to put in studying for your classes studying for your tests um, you know what are you willing to put in to, to get the grade that you want uh, I think that was a, a thing for me do you have anybody that you want to credit with uh, knowing that studies needed to come first oh man. Uh, I definitely want to, to credit my, my parents for instilling that that work ethic in me, um, regardless of whether it, you know, was studies or soccer or whatnot, that whatever you're doing, you know, do the best that you can do. Um, and if that means foregoing uh, the college social life to, to apply myself, uh, I was, you know, willing and able to do that. Well, that is awesome. So tell us a little, your favorite memory um, from Missouri State. You've obviously been there for a little bit, thanks to COVID. Yeah. Um, you had an extra year of eligibility and, and got to play those um, extra games. But give me a, a, your favorite memory. Uh, favorite memory would have to have come from the, this last spring, 2021. We were um, in North Carolina for the NCAA tournament, round of 32. Uh, we're in a tight game with Maryland, and it's it's nil-nil for the first probably 83 minutes and they end up scoring one um, to, you know, we go down one, seven minutes to go. And with, I think about two minutes or three minutes left, um, one of our forwards, John Coca ends up scoring. And then 40 seconds later scores again, we go up two one, uh, we advance to the sweet 16. So that was super cool to see him get that recognition. And then our team to go some, someplace we'd never gone before. And that was the sweet 16. And, we ended up falling a little short this year in the first round of the NCAA tournament, but um, it was cool to be back in the NCAA tournament these last three years, and it was cool to advance and win games, and I'm excited to see what the team does moving forward. And talking about moving forward, what is next for you? Yeah, what's next for me is, you know, keep going day by day, trying to improve um, athletically on the field and and then, you know, I'm looking for, for trials and opportunities with uh, MLS teams, USL, CPL across North America to see, uh, see if I can keep playing soccer. Well, awesome, Justin. Or Sorry, Justin. Kyle, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your school year. Awesome. Thank you very much, Amanda.